Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. The best thing by far on this game right now is the live upgrades dropping every single day on this game. But with that, the prices of these cards are absolutely going to the moon. So, my question is, who's going to explode in price today and which live SBC will we be crafting today as well? We're going to talk about all of that ahead of a big Sunday of Euros games and especially content on this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's go to the SBC section and cover what dropped yesterday. There was really only one bright spot yesterday out of the content, if we're being completely honest. Let's start with the upgrade packs and talk about the 84 times 7 which was just the same one as last week. It's two squads. I don't know, man. 83, 85 rated. It is what it is. It's a one-time chance at uh, getting some players from the promo team, Copa or Euros related. It's worth the craft at some point during the week with the player picks, of course. But you know what? It's the same SBC. That's what we were expecting. Now, our repeatable upgrade pack is the 86 double, which we mentioned yesterday. But again, Guys, let me put this into perspective for you. This 86 double is an 85 rated squad. The 85 times 5 was also an 85 rated squad, right? Of course, you needed a team of the week or a team of the season inside of that. But in the 85 5, how many times did I open that and get two 86s, even if they were just gold cards, right? So I don't know. I think this SBC is a big L. I would have rather had the 85-5 back. It's actually, it's not an L. It's mid, right? Because you do get a decent chance here at packing some of the cards from the Make Your Mark promo. It is worth trying to craft and do every single day. It's going to be more difficult to do, though, because it's going to be a little bit harder to get those 85s for this because you don't have five of them. Well, most of the times, three or four of them, sometimes five if you got a really bad 85 times five. But now you have to rely on um, objective packs, rewards, and the 82 plus player pick to get you those 83s, 4s, 5s, and 6s that you need for that SBC. So it's honestly underwhelming. The menu grind has been halted a bit because of that pack not being as good. But that's neither here nor there because, um, you know, you can still grind a lot of the packs. There's still great objective packs that are out too. So the, the menu grind isn't just going to be as great. That's the fact of the matter. Now, let's go to SBCs before we talk about that Garnacho. Show. Let's talk about a random flashback that we had yesterday. Perisette, a French right back from Chelsea. Four star, five star, high, high work rates, anticipate jockey and rapid plus. It's interesting that she does not have four play style pluses. I mean, that is kind of the new norm. And a lot of the SBCs we've been seeing recently, like Javi Simons and the new Garnacho, have that four play style plus boost. I'm sure Chelsea fans, or maybe if you're a French fan, is uh, you're happy with this. She can play at center back as well, which is pretty interesting. The card doesn't look terrible. I just don't feel like this is one that a ton of people are super, super excited about. But it's there if you want to do it. You know what? The funniest thing about this SBC is, if you read the description, it says, Earn a flashback Eve Perisette celebrating her solid performances with national team at UEFA Women's Euro 2022. Her solid performances with national team. She's French, and she probably did something else than just have a solid performance. I don't know. It just seems like the most basic uh, description for an SBC ever. It's the small things like that that we notice sometimes, right? Anyways, that's not the SBC. SBC we're here for. We are here for the Alejandro Garnacho Argentinian live and upgrading SBC. This was the bright spot of content yesterday. Five star skills, four star weak foot. Man, I'm telling you guys, with the finesse plus, this card, I used him when he had his team of the season moments card. I packed him as a red. He was very, very good. And I think a lot of people were able to use him during Prem Tots and they realized how good he was. His play styles are a bit different than he had on his Tots card, right? This is a plus four overall rating from a 92 to a 96. He got plus five defending, five physical, three pass, one pace, two shot, two dribble. And instead of quick step and acrobatic, he now has incisive, rapid trickster and still the finesse plus, which is really, really good. This, I don't know. I think this is a really good SBC, guys. I do believe that it might be one that if you already have Luis Diaz, you're kind of looking at this and you're like, hmm, do I really have to root now for two different uh, countries in Copa America. If you want to do that, you can. I don't know. I'm probably going to complete this one, but I do want to throw some caution into the wind because if you're counting on this card for upgrades, he might not get all the upgrades. And I actually remember on Friday night, Argentina played their last friendly against Guatemala and um, Garnacho did not see the pitch. Let me, let me just double check. 
Yeah, he was not subbed on. He was on the bench, but he was not subbed on. I think that means he appeared in two of the four friendlies that Argentina played leading up to the Copa America. So just to kind of put that out there, we love the four play stop plus. We love how he's meta in game. He's Argentine. You 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 know he's going to get some upgrades, right? He just has to see the pitch. That's going to be the problem. Um, I guess we, we assume upgrades for a path to glory, you know, like for those cards like DePaul, he's definitely getting upgrades. But this Garnacho... It all, of course, is on him to be on the pitch. So I'm a little worried about that. But if this is a card that you're just like, nah, I want to use him right now. Who cares about the upgrades? He's got four play style pluses. He's a great card the way that it is right now. I do agree with you on that. And it is a decent SBC. So that's just something to consider when you think about the live aspect of that card right there. Let's go to Evolutions because this Evo that dropped yesterday... I mean, I don't even know if it's worth doing unless you are German. It is free, which is nice. It is a specific Evo for Germans only. German glory. I'm glad that it's free because I don't think most people are going to end up doing this one. Uh, when I look at this this evolution, um, what does it give? It gives slide tackle plus. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, this Stiller card looks halfway decent from the uh, the brand new midfielders that were dropped. He goes five star skills with some really good stats, but only two playstyle pluses. Is like what? What is this Podolski? I don't want to give Podolski. Nah, I'm not doing this one on, on him. I mean, the stat boost is sick, but like even this Mukhtar, like that card looks kind of nice. But slide tackle? No, no. Nah. So I don't know if too many people are doing that evolution unless. Maybe I need to check my club. I don't have a Schlotterbeck. Not a Schlotterbeck, sorry. I don't have a Klosterman. This Evo right here, if you really want a German center back, um, Klosterman fits this Evo. 97 pace, 95 defending, and 93 physical. It's a three... Uh, set Evo. You have to do incisive pass, supreme defender, and then this one. But that's kind of a nuts looking card. Um, does he? Okay, yeah, he's 6,000, 7,000 coins. So if that's something you really want to do, I did want to shout that one out because I saw that on Footbin and I was like, hmm. That's a pretty sick Evo, at least there. So that was all the content yesterday. I guess we do have to mention it because it did drop. There was a 650K pack in the store, untradeable, guaranteeing you two make your mark cards. Uh, and I think it's like an 85 times 30 or something like that. So that was there. But honestly, guys, the make your mark cards, I want to look at those here in just a second. The prices on those are moving really, really weird, especially for players who have not played yet because there's still hype for them, right, to get the upgrades. But before we get on to that, let's talk about the upgrades, man, because we get upgrades every single day, and EA have done it yet again in the same time frame. Three hours after the Italy game ended, bang, upgrades are out in the game. DeMarco, Nico Williams, Le Norman all got the chemistry boost, and then Pedri Chiesa and others got the stat boost for the first wins of the path to glory, path, or the goals scored, right? Dean Italy in Italy, they scored two. Uh, how many did Spain score? Three? I think Spain had three goals. Uh, maybe it was just to. I don't remember. But Captavia got his first upgrade as well. I did want to point out one thing with uh, this post. EA did not include the Zubi Mendy, but they did give him the plus two that he was deserving of. Wore a SBC for 50k. I'm kind of looking back on this, and I'm a little disappointed that I didn't complete him. That's a really sick card if you need a Spanish linking center mid or center defensive mid, medium high work rates, great play style pluses. Yes, sure, he's only got three. That's a really, really solid card, though, with the stats that he has. They forgot to mention him in the post, but he did get upgraded. And uh, just as well, if you're like, Nate, I don't remember what some of these cards looked like before they got upgraded. I'm going to show you this really cool thing on foot.gg, right? Pedri is 97 now instead of 96. If you go down here and you click the little arrows, it'll show you in the in-game stats that's what he got upgraded and for basically all of these cards it's just a straight up plus one overall you can see plus one plus one plus one he got plus one passing but they gave him two crossing two free kicks two long pass and two curves so that's one thing i did want to point out and you can look at that for all of these danny olmo went up a bunch in price yesterday i mean his upgrade again was just a simple plus one he got plus ones everywhere except for a plus two crossing um so i guess if they're giving some plus twos they're doing it in crossing. And I think even like Captavia and Dina Talley as well were all just straight up plus ones. Vicario got his first upgrade as well for Italy. Um, I don't know if that boosted his composure though, or sorry, reactions. I, I, I hope that it did, but I doubt that it did. Uh, Chiesa now looking 99.99 looks pretty crazy too. Now we're just kind of chasing that uh, three wins, right? It's nice that these cards get the quick upgrades straight out of the gate. Super duper dope. Uh, but now we're kind of chasing those three win upgrades. I want to talk about the new cards really quick, the make your mark items, because that Nico Williams is one I want to zero in on here just for a second, because this is something that's applicable, I think, for all of us. And it's really weird how this has been 
making these cards move on the market before the games even start. So Nico Williams yesterday was announced that he was in the starting lineup for, oh, see, he's he's got the new card design. I searched the wrong one. Yeah, he's 500,000 coins, right? Ooh, 488. But it was announced before the game that he was in the starting 11. News got out that he was going to be starting. He went from 487,000 coins. He spiked all the way up pre-game. He was up at 565. Now, once the game started, he was going even higher, of course, because he was playing, right? That was a chance at a goal or an assist, which is, of course, a part of the individual um accolades that he could achieve and then get upgrades so the cards go up if they're announced in the starting 11 and they're going to be on the pitch straight away kind of that confirming that first upgrade and appearance right and then they dropped after the game like now he's back down to the exact same price he was before the game even though he has the um chemistry boost on the card now he got that first upgrade so that is one thing i did want to mention because that's um uh, pretty consistent that happened yesterday or that happened yesterday that happened on friday with the germany game as well uh with some of those cards like um middle stat went up a bit in price so that is something i wanted to kind of point out to you guys because that could happen today with those games so uh these these guys as well just looking at these new promo cards they're not as hype as the ptgs for sure but they have some really weird price movements especially those cards like let's look at here we are already because poland play early today right um, this guy, like a normal graph on a Saturday promo card is Friday night, they're low, they go up Saturday morning, and then they absolutely tank Saturday in the afternoon into the evening. And then we head into Sunday and they're just down bad. Well, this is different because these cards are live, right? QER went from 120 K up to 160, back down to 130 at the content drop. And he's still 150, 160 K rising as people are probably expecting him to see the pitch for the Poland match early today on Sunday. So that's one thing with these cards that honestly the biggest price drops we're going to see from now on out on a lot of these is going to be a if there's like a crazy store pack that's released and b it's going to be post game because for the cards that have not played yet same thing with cole palmer look at his price he's 3.1 mil yesterday he was two point what he went between 2.7 up to 3.1 down to 2.5 and then he's been chilling around 3 million coins since because everybody expects Cole Palmer to play today for the big England game and then of course he would get the chemistry boost which isn't that massive for him but it would be his first upgrade I would be shocked unless he scores or assists I would be shocked if Cole Palmer is still 3.1 million coins tomorrow just because that still seems really expensive for that card, but it's a live England card, and there's a lot of hype there. That's just one thing I wanted to mention, because the cards almost always seem to drop off after the game. But these aren't even the cards that are going up the most, and these aren't even the cards that are making a lot of us the most coins right now, guys. It is the path to glories that are going absolutely bonkers. I just checked Saliba's price. This guy was 1.4 million coins. He's almost, two, he's almost up a million. Wait, hold on. Hold on. He is up almost 1 million coins from his price on Thursday. And today is Sunday. That is ridiculous. Honestly, ridiculous that he is up this high. On some of these cards, like like this Saliba, should he be a sell right now? I mean, I would halfway think about it if I had one that I bought under 2 million coins. But that's how the whole team of these players is moving. They are going to the moon. GG's if you're still holding. Because these cards, again, we last week pointed out, had the better upgrade path than the make your marks once we saw the leaks. And I'm so glad that a lot of us invested. Now, as we always say, selling in the hype before the games is the safe play, right? And I've done that two days in a row. I sold, I bought a Pedri on stream at, what was it, like 688,000 coins. I sold them for 900k yesterday. I wasn't trading at all on Saturday. Yesterday, I just like, you know what? I'm going to get this out. I sold it overnight. Yeah, he's 1.2 million coins now. But, of course... I was not going to risk it. We haven't seen any favorites be upset yet, right? Spain won a tough game. Italy won versus Albania. Started off a little bit sus with that first minute um, goal they conceded. But same thing with um, Germany as well. They won straight off the bat. So there's been no upsets yet, but there's going to be somebody. Some of these live cards, whoever it's going to be, some nation is going to fall. They're going to falter. They're going to have a moment of weakness, and a underdog is going to win, making one of these cheap cards go up a lot and making one of these expensive expected to win cards and get upgrades drop a lot. So you never want to be on the wrong end of that. That's why selling in the hype is always a fine thing to do, even though I lost out, you could say, on coins like Di Natale's 1.6, 1.7 mil. 
I sold mine pregame for 1.5, right? I bought that for 1.1. I still made over a million coins yesterday selling into the hype with how much these cards went up. Captavia, I could have made another 150K on him, right? But again, I was not wanting to risk it into the games. I wasn't following the prices that much yesterday, personally myself. And those are just things you have to take into account, right? When you're trading with these cards. But for the most part, they're still to the moon. And again, a card like that, Saliba, like that's kind of crazy. I might sell that one, right? Saka's 2.4 million coins. If England, I'm not saying I expect it to happen. If England were to lose today or even draw, right? Because a draw means no upgrade. Then this card, I would imagine, would would drop off a good amount because he wouldn't be meeting the expectations that people have for England today. That's the one thing you always have to consider with these cards isn't meeting the expectations, right? That's something to really watch for. But most of them just keep rising. And this is another thing I want to point out too. Look at Undav, man. You can absolutely buy the cards after the game even if they win and they're already up in price usually after the game they have a bit of a dip i know we're going deep into it right now like undav went up to like 220 and then after the game he went down like 10k he was like 210,000 coins but then look what happens the next day after he gets upgraded you know he might be a little bit of a rare scenario because he was a rare card extra rare and he's just gone up a ton right and his upgrade makes him look really cracked but that's kind of something that i would mention today is like let's say england win kyle walker drops after the game for whatever reason Saka drops a little bit maybe then you get involved at that price they probably go higher after that that's one thing i wanted to mention and uh yeah selling the hype is always a safe play gotta throw that out there and mention it again because it is but man if you invested in any of these cards you are feeling great there's actually one thing i do want to mention because there's losing teams every single day too and some of these losing teams still have great potential to get upgrades. Josko Gavardiol in Croatia are a perfect example of that. He's 258,000 coins right now, which is not up a lot, but it's still up from where he was. Take a look at his flipping graph yesterday. Pre-game, 280k. Some believers in Croatia, right? During the game, they're losing. He goes down to 225,000 coins, but after the game, people realize, hold on a second, it's still very possible that he gets an upgrade in the next game. Croatia should still do pretty well in this group and have a potential to get out of the group, right? And get second place. Boom, straight back up to 260K. Watch the panic selling on these Path to Glories and also the Make Your Mark cards during these games. If you're going to be watching the games and have the companion app open and do some of that stuff, like, Keep an eye on them because there's going to be great potentials for the the flips in these games when a, a team is losing. Even if it's a favorite, like let's say, you know, again, England for the example, if they go down early, watch for the flips. These cards are just going to fluctuate so much because the hype for the upgrades is, is there, right? And it's so amazing that these cards get upgraded so quickly. You wake up today, you want to use Pedri, you want to use Dina Talley, maybe, you know, DeMarco, right, with the Ken boost. Danny Olmo looks stacked now after his plus one. So there's always hype for these cards um, after the boost. And I mean, that's carrying this promo for sure is the path to glories and the quick upgrades, which we absolutely love. So definitely watch those prices today. Let's talk last thing about the games that are happening today. We've already kind of mentioned them, right? Poland and the Netherlands. Kuman is up so much in price. How much is Kuman? Like, can I get a price check on this card? 665K. He is basically doubled, right? But again, it's all about the goals. If the Netherlands can put four down today, like all these other games have been pretty high scoring and a lot of goals, that looks really, really good for a man like Kuman, VVD, of course, Depay, Javi Simons. We have big SBC cards on the line today, right? Javi Simons, if he starts, he's not going to go up on the market. Obviously, he's an SBC, but he would probably if he was on the market, that sort of thing. That's big for him for the chemistry. Hopefully, he can get a goal or assist or two today, too. Frankie de Jong is live in an action. And then on Polish side, you've got Kiwior, you've got Dudek from the season pass, and Zaluski. And then you've got Slovenia and Denmark as the second game with, I'm really rooting for Denmark here with Schmeichel, um, Christensen, and Ba. And then, of course, you've got Oblak versus Sesko as well for Slovenia. And then the big game later on today, you've got Vidic, which, man, I'm so torn in this game. I hope this game ends up being like 3-2 England because I really want Vidic to get the upgrade for the goals because I packed him. That's just a personal thing. Uh, Ilic, Vlahovic, and Lukic as well. They all look pretty solid, to be honest. The Serbian cards are nice. But then, of course, I want England to win. Not because I have Cole Palmer or Saka, but I do have the main man himself, Joe Gomez. And a lot of us are rooting for England today specifically because of Joe Gomez. So, 
big day for the SBC players with Javi Simons and Joe Gomez, and uh, that's going to mean big movements on the market as well. I know that the England Weekend League and a lot of these English cards are starting to kind of fizzle out and drop off in price. That's one thing I wanted to mention. Obviously, we expected this, right? We talked about that when the objective first came out. How much is Harry Kane? How much? Oh, okay. So Harry Kane is almost back down to where he was before this whole thing started. Before the whole English Weekend League requirements for the Enzo objective were out there, he was 400,000 coins. He's back down to 450. Some of these English cards could actually go back up if England play really, really well. Remember what happened with all the German cards, right? On Friday, and Musiala Tots, Florian Verts, like those cards went boom, right? Watch the English cards because sure, they're still gonna get sold off a little bit because of people finishing their Weekend League, but just keep an eye on some of the hype ones, right? You mean, some of us already have Joe Gomez, so maybe your English center backs wouldn't do good, but like this Harry Kane, maybe the uh, cheaper version of Cole Palmer, really like whoever scores the goals today and who who's like quote unquote man of the match, those are going to be the cards on this game that will probably move because everybody watches the games and then gets back on the console and like, oh shoot, I want to use the guy that I just saw cook in real life. That's the best part about when there's competitions like this and the cards on this game to make you it's the closest thing to feeling like you're watching the game over again trying to recreate and use the players in this game uh that you just saw uh do great things in real life so that's something to watch out for today too i don't have any investments uh like that i'm making for today's games personally it's another day where i won't be on the stream and um man i almost listed undav for 330k and that's what he is now like this was a 100,000 coin lazy list yesterday and now that's actually his price. Crazy. So these are the three cards that I still have left. Hernandez, Cavadis, Skelia, and Undav. And I have no plans on selling them. I might as well just hold on to them. But best of luck if you're trading with those cards today. They're going to move a lot. Let's talk about what else is coming today on Sunday content-wise. Kind of get out of the whole, you know, live card situation just for a second. We do have a new leak. And I'm a little disappointed because I just started an evolution for Weya. And of course, now he's going to get an SBC or an objective. But Wea is coming as a make your mark card. It's going to be a good card. He's going to be 99 pace probably. Um, I'm excited for it for sure. Probably going to be cheaper though. And I wonder if EA is only going to give him three play style pluses. I hope that that's not the case. But it could be for my USA fans out there. Uh, just, you know, set your expectations there. And if he's got four PS pluses, then we like it. We still have other leagues out there, right? We like talked about the Van uh, We've got the Garnacho now. So he's off the list. He's in the game. Arda Guler is the other big SBC that has been leaked. My other question is, are we getting a mini release? Because we had a mini release like member Fulkrug um, and Bruno Gima Rice for like the PTG cards from Copa. Are we getting a mini release for the Make Your Mark cards today too? I am genuinely curious on whether that's not whether that's going to happen or not. I, I think it would. I would imagine that it would. Um, but maybe some of those cards like Ivan Tony and like that Mickey Vandevin, maybe they're gonna, actually going to come out in packs and not at an SBC. You know, some of those other leaked cards that we have not seen dropped in, in the game yet that were leaked ahead of time. We'll just have to see. And then also, guys, today's Sunday. So what else do we expect on Sundays? Potentially an Evo. I think they're maybe following the same schedule as last week. And I don't think we had an Evo last Sunday. We had one on Friday last week and Saturday. I don't know if we get one today. But, uh, you know, it's icon player pick and hero player pick day today. Nah, they're not even touch worth touching, man. Maybe they put Golazos into this. But still, even then, who are you going to pack? Galazzo, Charlton to then use in the English Weekend League type of thing, you know? Icon picks and uh, packs and hero picks and packs are so behind the curve, it's mad. The best icons are the live ones for the Euros, and same thing for the heroes. Uh, we say this every single week. Um, it, yeah, they're just not worth doing. I don't know. Maybe you do it for the just for fun, but even this week where fodder's probably going to be a little bit harder to come by, the menu craft is not going to be as good because of the 85.5 not being there. Yes, we still have the 82 plus pick, but you don't have as much other fodder coming in with only the 86 double to craft that 86 double and then other SBCs. You're just not getting as much quantity wise. Um, it's going to it's gonna hurt the hype a little bit this week, but it's also going to make these brand new cards to make your marks even more rare. So continue to try to, I think, hit these in player picks, guys, and continue Continue to try to trade with them on the market because there will be opportunities to see these prices move too. I know what you're thinking too is, Nate, when do we buy these make your mark cards? Because the PTGs went bananas 
that's going to make these cards go up a lot too, right? It could. But I think what we need to do for each and every one of these is wait until that player plays a game. Like even DeMarco, right? He got the chemistry boost and he's right back down to what he was. Yesterday before the game, bro was 380k, went up to 546, went straight back down after the game to 400,000 coins where he is now. So you might as well just wait until the player plays their game. If they lose, they're going to drop down a lot more. If they win, they'll probably drop back down to where they were. And then you can maybe start to think about buying them. But it also seems a little crazy to pay, you know, the crazy millions for Leao and Palmer and Shuameni, even though they're pretty cracked. So we're going to continue to follow these prices on these cards really close because they're interesting. Uh, that EA also needs to downgrade some price ranges again, too. There's even more cards now that are stuck with their minimums. And the Copa cards feel like they're just they're just hanging out. Like, even the live Copa cards from PTG, I think a lot of people are investing in those because, you know, they're like, oh, these games still don't happen for a few days. And since the Euros cards are going to go up, well, look at these cards. They're going to go up a whole bunch, too. And I, I definitely don't disagree with that. I would just be careful, right? Again, the reason that a guy like Saliba is up so much is because there's hype because he plays and those upgrades have been released. Now for the Copa cards, we're not quite there. So guys, that is going to be the video for today. It's going to be a great day of Euros football again. I wish all of you the best of luck for whoever nation you are rooting for, whatever upgrades in this game you are rooting for a country to win for. And uh, let's keep it going with the goals, man, because the goals have been flying so far through the Euros, which is absolutely fantastic. Like 2-1, 3-0, 3-1, 5-1. Like, let's keep it going. Let's get all these icons, their upgrades ASAP. Allow us to use them in game. Yeah, we love it. So that's carrying this game right now is the upgrades 100%. But I wanted to talk a lot about the live cards today. And of course, how much coins I'm sure so many of you guys in these videos are making. But I'm excited for it, man. And I'm excited to keep moving throughout the weekend. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. I won't be streaming today, unfortunately. But I will be keeping up to date with the games. And I'll catch you guys then. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nate the Food Account. Catch you there. Peace out.